Underwood and she's airing her dirty laundry. Good morning everyone. Welcome to today's edition of A Minnesota. No dirty laundry here. We've got some students, juniors. That's what it says here. Juniors. Well it says grade eleven, but that's a junior. From Faribault Bethlehem Academy, we got Maggie Velen, Will McIntyre, is that right, Will? And also with us is the admissions director for Bethlehem Academy, Chris Sauer. We're going to talk about an open house coming up next Wednesday. Thanks for coming in studio. Thanks for having us. Yeah, appreciate that. I just need you kind of close to Thanks for having us. that mic. That would be very much appreciated. Well, Chris, you want to lay the land for us here? Next Wednesday, you have an open house. The hours are? We're going to have an open house from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. They'll start out the evening with uh, a sports and activities fair for the first half hour, do a quick presentation to follow, and then we'll have tours of the school, and then parents and prospective students would have a chance to ask our staff and students um, all kinds of questions about anything they might have about Bethlehem Academy. What's a sports and activities fair? Well, what we're going to do is have um, student groups and uh, athletic teams. We're going to have tables set up around the cafeteria, and. Uh, prospective students and parents can come around and ask questions. We'll have information available for them. Um, just a chance for them to really find out what we're all about, but not only in the classroom, but um, also outside the classroom as well. Will and Maggie are in makeup here today. <laughs> What's that all about? Well, um, it's La Dia de Muerta, Day of the Dead, and for Spanish class, one of the activities we did was painting each other's faces, because it's a tradition in Spanish culture. It is? Yes. Jeez, I didn't okay. know that. So, yeah. You guys look kind of cool. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> People might want to watch you on YouTube a bit later <laughs> to see what we're talking about, because on the radio, I'm not really good at describing uh, stuff, but... <laughs> well, you want to describe the makeup that Maggie has on here? Maggie has a half white face <laughs> with some purple dots around her eye, a lot of gold glitter, and a black s suture. Yeah, suture? Suture <laughs> smile. Yeah. And Maggie, you want to describe? Will has a full blue face with kind of black circles around his eyes. Yeah. And a black suture smile. <laughs> I thought maybe those were the, you know, the uh, football. Um, oh, football laces. <laughs> but yeah, the laces on a football yeah. is what I thought those were. I thought you were dressed up for tonight's football game. Which, by the way, we'll have on Power 96 Radio tonight. And we'll also have the volleyball match tomorrow on mm -hmm. Power 96 Radio. I'll be in Jordan to do the football, and I'll be over in Rochester to do the volleyball tomorrow. Power 96. And, of course, that's one of the things that you guys believe is a plus for Bethlehem Academy, right? All the activities. You're involved in a lot of activities, yeah. right, Maggie? Yeah, I am. Um, I'm in cross-country, actually co-op with Faribault, um, basketball, track and field, and then I'm in a lot of student clubs, like student council, um, Students Against Destructive Decisions, National Honor Society, Science Olympics. Holy moly, yeah. how do you find time <laughs> to be a kid? Um... It all works out, I guess. <laughs> my, oh, my, it says here that you're the treasurer of the student council. Yep, is that right? I am. I mean, you handle the money, right? Yeah, yeah I do. You going to be a banker? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> what do you think you're going to do? Um, I want to go into pre-med in college and then hopefully into surgery later on. Dr. Velen. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that has a ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Dr. Velen. Well, how about you? You're in band, you're in theater? I'm in, yeah, all of the music programs and the theater programs and I also do like community theater at Paradise and Little Theater of Otana and I do clubs also like Maggie so <laughs> what do you play in the band a lot <laughs> I play a lot of different instruments do you really yeah <laughs> what's your favorite I'm learning the bassoon right now and that's really fun what was your first instrument the euphonium horn Oh, my word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I played the baritone. Oh, yeah. I started out on drums. Mm -hmm. But we had so many drummers, and you only got to play a segment in a song, and I'm like, this is no fun. Right. So then I went to the band director and said, I need a new instrument. He said, how about tuba? So I played tuba for a while. I didn't like that so much. So I went to the band director, and he said, you can be our first baritone ever at Spring Valley High School. So I was the first chair because I was the only chair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> North
BethlehemBuildings.com. In Minnesota today, Chris Sauer is the Director of Admissions for Bethlehem Academy. Maggie Veland is a junior extraordinaire. She's in cross country. She's in basketball. She's in track. She's the student council treasurer. My gosh, she does everything. Will McIntyre plays every single instrument. Well, maybe not every single instrument, but a lot of instruments in the band. He's also a junior and is involved in theater. What's your favorite play to perform in so far? I was just in Shrek the Musical at Little Theater of Oatana. Oh, yeah, did you play Shrek? No. <laughs> I played a lot of different roles, but that was really fun. My, oh, my. You play lots of different roles on the stage, and you play lots of different instruments in the band. <laughs> You're very talented, Will. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So how do you like going to BA? Forget that, you know, there, there's an adult in <laughs> I'm not an adult, but she, you know, Chris is. I love going to BA because of probably all the close relationships the teachers have with every single student. They all care, and they want you to do the best of your abilities, so... Other than theater and band, do you have a favorite class? I really like math and science, so... No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> theater and math and science. That's interesting. <laughs> so you're going to be a doctor, too? Probably not, but... What are you thinking about career-wise? I know you got a lot of time to think about this, but... I'm not really sure yet, but... I don't even really know, so... I mean, when I was your age, I wanted to be a brain surgeon. You see what I'm doing for a living. <laughs> This isn't brain surgery. I wasn't smart enough to do it, so this is what I get, and this is what I'm doing. Anyway, you involved at all in this open house, Will? I'm going to be helping out with it, so... Do you know what you're doing yet? And the band is playing at this open house, too, so... Are you going to be at the football game tonight, the band? I don't think the band is going to the football game tonight. They're going to the volleyball match tomorrow? You don't know? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. So. Well, they'll tell you. I'm, I'm sure they'll tell you. Yeah. If they don't tell you, that might be a message, Will. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and Maggie, you going to football game tonight? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. You going to the volleyball match tomorrow? Yep. You won't miss that, will you? No, I won't. No. A lot of your friends are probably in both those. Yeah, I have a lot of friends in volleyball and football. Though. Cool. So you doing anything at this open house? Um, yeah, I'll be helping out um, working the Science Olympics table, actually, to tell <coughs> new students um, about a lot of the clubs we have. And then I'll be helping out with our anatomy and physiology class that I'm in, um, up in the classroom, just kind of showing new students what we offer in those classes and stuff. I'm sure you've got friends that have graduated. Mm -hmm from school, and they're off on the college. Do they tell you that they're well prepared for college after being educated at BA? Oh yeah, I know. A lot of them say that they were really glad they took um, the college and the schools classes and got credit for that, for that and then it just really um, set them up for college. And that they're Are you doing that too? That. Yeah, no? I'm in um, CIS Anatomy and Physiology and CIS Calculus right now. So does this mean you get out of a course in college then, um, if you take this? Yeah, I get credits for that. So. Um, I'll have a University of Minnesota transcript, transcript when I'm graduated from BA. So nice. you've already decided you're going to the U? Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll just have credit from there. Okay. Do you know where you're going yet? Um, no, I think I'll, um, I've been looking at a lot of colleges out of state, actually. Oh, well, yeah? You want to get away from home, huh? <laughs> um, not exactly. I just kind of want to see what's out there. Sure. Might as well. Yeah. <laughs> You got a preference? Want to go somewhere warm? Um, no preference really. I haven't looked that much, but. How about you, Will? You got your college plans all mapped out yet, or? Not really, but like Maggie, I'm th considering going out of state too. But like, I wouldn't go just for somewhere warm, though. So, mm. <laughs> I don't know. Sure, <clears throat> Chris. You can tell us a little bit more about, is there food at this open house? Yeah, we'll have some of our famous lunch lady chocolate chip cookies. Ooh, Always that sounds have good. coffee and, and sodas available, or not sodas, sorry, water available as well. But the, it'll be just sort of the light snacks. Um, if I could, I'd like to talk a little bit about the college and the school sure, classes. Sure, of course. Yeah, so we offer three of them. And what it is, it's dual enrollment program with the University of Minnesota. 
So the students are really, they're BA students, but they're also University of Minnesota students while they're taking the classes. We offer three of them at BA right now, although we're working on adding a few more. Um, Maggie was talking about CIS Calculus, that's a four credit class, um, which means they take it the full year. Uh, CAS Anatomy and Physiology is also a full year class. That's also a four credit class. And then we offer a U.S. History class, which is three credits. So if the most many of our students take these classes, you have to have a 3.5 GPA to qualify to take them. And they can graduate with an 11 credits from the University of Minnesota, which means you're three quarters, if not a full semester, into your college career. Yeah, I was just thinking graduate. that. Yep, yep. It's pretty awesome. Um, one of the nice things I think that we see as an advantage to those classes over AP, our AP classes students take them all year and they get a grade in the class, but then they have to take the AP exam and it's the results of the exam that count towards college credit. So if you happen to be a student who's great in the classroom but kind of frees up on those exams, with a CIS class you get the credit for all the work that you did throughout the year. And for the most part, um, we've had probably, I would say, a 97% rate of getting those credits fully accepted by um, every university that our students have matriculated to okay. after graduation. I was just going to ask that because Maggie said, you know, U of M credits, and, mm -hmm. and she doesn't necessarily want to go to the U of M. Mm -hmm. She can carry these credits wherever she goes, Duke University or... Correct. Absolutely right. Now, obviously, it's up to each individual institution to accept the credits or not. We make no promises of that because that isn't in our control. Right. But we've had a really good success rate with getting those credits transferred. Yeah. I said Duke because they're a good medical school, you know. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. And of course Maggie already knows that. I think she does. Because she's been doing her homework on this, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> really. So you know what kind of surgery you want to do? Um, no, haven't thought that far into it. I just know. You have steady hands? Um, I hope so. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that would be a requirement yeah, for a surgeon. Yeah, it would. And you have to be able to really focus and concentrate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't daydream when you're doing a surgery. No, no, you really can't. <laughs> At least I hope not. I've never had a surgery other than, you know, I was born, you know. <laughs> How about you, Will? For what? Okay. Oh. You're involved in one of these college... Yes, uh, I'm in the anatomy and physiology, too. So it's a really good opportunity to get... Is it hard? Yeah, it's hard, but it's rewarding in the end, so if, and I'm also taking it to see if that's what I want to do, maybe go into the medical, so. You just don't know, right? Yeah, that's why I'm taking it, yeah. so. Yeah, I've never thought it was fair to ask people who haven't even been away from home to decide what they're going to do with the rest of their life. Chris, how'd you become an admissions person? Uh, <laughs> well, I've sort of had an, an interesting uh trajectory in getting to BA, <laughs> but um, no, I've always loved education. I've been involved in, in, in marketing and public affairs in the past, um, have been involved with Bethlehem Academy for going on four years as a parent and board of directors member, and the opportunity arose to take this position, and I jumped at it, because I just, it's a fabulous school, um, just really great faculty are super committed to their students. Um, the kids are great. I loved the smaller size, the strong academics, the chance for, um, for students to be involved in a variety of things. I know it on a personal level, as I said, as a parent. I have a senior and a freshman this year at BA. Um, so it just, it, I love it. It's just, it's so fun to be able to share with people and help people learn about our school and give them an opportunity to send their kids there. Yeah. Well, that's awesome that you can talk from the parent side of things. Yeah, I think that 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 helps. I mean, it's um, obviously I'm super committed to the school, but it's it's I've been through the admissions process. I've been through all the the processes that all these parents. So yeah, I think I can speak pretty directly to to most of the concerns that they have. And certainly, if not, we've got such a great staff that um, if I don't have the answers, I have a super super great ability to transfer to get them to the people that do have the answers. So do you help? students steer them in certain courses uh, you know because you might know what their interests are what they're good at like will i mean he's like super talented in music absolutely no i i am not the person that helps them um get and sign up for classes those are our counselors and we've got um two very amazing counselors that help out 
our uh, middle school and our high school students. And one of the great advantages of having small a small school like we have is um, our counselors work literally directly with every single senior and every single student to get them ready for college placement. Um, we've got one of our amazing English teachers, Mrs. Peel, who works with our juniors. They're starting this spring of their, their junior year to craft their college essays. She's working one-on-one -on -one with them in the fall. Uh, Mrs. Carlson, our um, high school counselor, she meets with them prior to school, so getting them on tr everyone on track for their college admissions process. She works hand in hand with them from figuring out which schools are the best fit for them to all the way through the application process. I mean, they're re it's really, really a very personalized approach to helping students prepare for their future. Right. Of course, college isn't for everyone either. And then that's correct. And one of the great things about BA is we've also got. Um, an amazing woodworking shop and we've started an egg science program this year and the egg science program is really amazing um, it's um, an agricultural education and career focused program we're the only Catholic high school in the state to offer it we're in our first year Mr. Halverson's doing an amazing job it's it's really focused on the hands-on sciences um, with a focus on obviously agriculture I think people forget how important agriculture as an economy is to our economy here and there's so many wonderful opportunities not only working directly as a farmer but in the agricultural industry ac across the board and this program helps students get um, hands-on experience in those areas and really make the help them see if that's a good fit for them so when you were a kid did you want to be an admissions director for a school I think I always knew I wanted to be involved in education um, and I love the opportunity to work with kids but to also um, uh, to work with families as well I mean, you didn't want to be a brain surgeon or something? No, I never <laughs> had any interest in being a brain surgeon. <laughs> no, pretty much knew that wasn't my path. I, I'm kind of one of those I don't like shots and blood kind of people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Obviously, that doesn't bother you, right, Maggie? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> I mean, you really enjoy. Yes, that interests me a lot. Like, um, yesterday in our anatomy and physiology class, we were, were actually practicing suturing. And so we had, like, um, little... Gel skin, gel kind of skin, things. kind of, and okay. we were suturing. Um, we practice all the stitches, and we even had like a competition to see who could suture the fast. I'm glad it wasn't on real people. Oh no, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that was um, that was a lot of fun for me. I had. A Don't really ask fun. me to volunteer for that class. <laughs> <laughs> we'll suture Mr. Kosfeld today. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your favorite part about BA? Um, I think. Well, I I didn't always like. I, well, he was. Um, in DMCS since preschool, um, but I went to a public school. I went to Roosevelt Elementary, which um, was a good school. I liked it. And then in sixth grade, I went to the public school, and then I decided to transfer to BA in seventh grade. So that was your decision? Well, it was my sister already went there, and um, my parents liked it a lot better than the public school, so they brought me over. Okay. But I was, I, I, mean, was but, I was okay with it. But did they ask you? Or? Yeah, they asked me. I mean, I have heard where families do that. You know, they ask the kids, "You would you rather go to the public school or the?" And they give them the choice. Right. No, yeah, they gave me the choice. And I um, shadowed at BA, which we saw that a lot of opportunity for kids to do, to just um, pretty much go to school with a kid. What's the biggest day. difference? Class sizes? Um, yeah, no, class sizes. It's a lot. Um, the teacher-to-student ratio is a lot smaller. And they just um, the transition, too, from going to a new school. I was really nervous, but it was just so easy. Everyone was so welcoming. And um, the teachers really... Um, they care about each student and how they do, and um, I just, I like private school. I like, I had a much better experience at the Okay. Uh, I was just going to mention, I went to a small school, a mm. little bigger than BA, but not a lot bigger than BA, small school, and it's got its, you know, drawbacks too. Um, I mean, what I'm saying is, everybody knows you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody. Yeah, the whole school knows Everybody, yeah. Uh, it's not necessarily a good thing if you want to get kind of lost in the shuffle. Yeah. It's, yeah, hard <laughs> to get lost in the shuffle, yeah. But that's but a plus, too. Yeah, right? I think um, I see it as more of a good thing, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you still have a lot of friends. You probably have friends at the public school. Yeah, I do. I'm in um, cross country, so um, if we don't offer a sport or activity at um, BA, you can just do it with the high school. So I'm in cross country and I have a lot of friends there and friends I went to um, elementary school with, I'm still in touch with. And, and I would guess through your church. Um, you know, yeah. Through another church. place to <laughs> meet people, right? Yeah. Right, Will? Yep. You like the small schools? I do. And like you said, getting lost in the shuffle, but 
when you're at a small school, I think kids come out of their shell more and become more comfortable with, I, I don't know, but. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Our AM Minnesota show today, we're talking about an open house coming up next Wednesday. What are the hours again? 5.30 to 7.30. 5.30 to 7.30 are the hours. At the school, obviously. Is this start in the gym, or where do people go? Uh, we ask everyone, we're asking everyone to come in the front lobby area, and then most of the activity will take place down in stairs in the cafeteria. Um, and then, obviously, the tours will be throughout the school. Do I get the cookies first or last? Uh, either one. Both before <laughs> and after, if they want. <laughs> really? I can have more than one cookie? Oh, they can have more than one cookie. Mm. <laughs> 5.30, 7.30 on <laughs> Wednesday. I, these are like world-famous cookies. Our over. lunch ladies are amazing. Um, honestly, they homemade lunch every day for these kids at an incredibly reasonable price. They always say they put five cups of love into every meal, mm. and I honestly believe it. <laughs> you get good variety, Maggie? Oh, yeah. No, I, lunches are one of my favorite parts of the day. They're so good, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> They're really good. <laughs> you know what you're having today? Oh, Just give me, can you give me an example of a lunch? My favorite lunch would be chicken wild rice soup, I think. Ooh, I love chicken wild rice soup. It's really good. <laughs> you have to call me sometime. I can come over and have <laughs> lunch at BA. Anytime, Gordy. Is it the creamy, creamy yeah. chicken? Oh, I love creamy <laughs> it's chicken. So How about you, Will? What's your favorite meal from Mine's BA? It's probably the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's really Is it really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sounds delicious. All right, Gordy, you come down anytime. We'll, we'll invite you down the next time we have uh, wild rice soup. Oh, maybe. Come would, on down for a meal. That would be awesome. Yeah. What do you have with it? Uh, you guys tell them what they have with it. Yeah. <laughs> breadsticks. Really good, Salad too. Bar. Salad bar. Fruit. The breadsticks are homemade, too? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Really good. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Good thing I don't eat there. I'd weigh 300 pounds. <laughs> That's why you're involved in all these sports, right? Yeah, because of the lunches. <laughs> Gotta keep those calories yeah. down. Yeah, sounds good. So you have, uh, you, you've been involved, as you mentioned, in cross country, which is mm -hmm. a co-op program with Faribault High School. Yep. Get along well with those kids, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, there's, I think, eight of us from BA that are involved in cross country, and yeah, I, it's, I love cross country. We're all um, really close, and I get along with everyone. Yeah. Uh, don't you have a big meet coming up this weekend? Um, we um, are done. The, uh, the Faribault Cross Country team is, we finished last week. The yeah. team did, but aren't the a couple of individuals, the st isn't the state meet this weekend? Yeah, no one made it this year. Well, they didn't? Mm. Well, what a bummer rooski. I know. <laughs> what a, a lot bum. of competition this year, yeah. So the band is involved in competitions, right, Will? At least they were when yes, I was a kid. Yes, actually, we, in the spring, we have, like, solo and small group ensemble kind of competition where right. we just get rated. You uh, inquire too? Yes, and we do the same thing, the solo ensemble. I mean, I would think in theater you'd be in choir. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily correlate, but I mean, I was involved in both, and band and sports, and I believe you take everything, you're more well-rounded. Mm -hmm. And you can't necessarily do that in a big school, right, Chris? Well, yeah, and one of the amazing things is um, the Minnesota State High School League um, has started a program where students can letter in band, choir, and fine arts. And we have all three options available at BA as well. In fact, this is our first year um, participating in the Minnesota State High School League Fine Arts Competition. So our students not only, um, we recognize kids that are super involved and great, super talented not only in athletics, but also in the fine arts programs, the band, the choir, and the arts. Um, it's really great. We have a wonderful partnership with Paradise Theater for the Arts, and for the last 10 years we've been, had students that have um, had shows down at the Paradise Theater uh, showing their artwork right alongside other professional artists. So it's, it's really great. Kids can, can really explore every talent and interest that they have because there's plenty of opportunity to do that. Fantastic. Awesome. So again, the open house is Wednesday. That's next Wednesday. It's the day after the election. It's the day after the election, yep. So come on down and have a cookie and check us out, talk to our students, meet our faculty, um, get a great chance to see what our school is all about. Um, I think it's, yeah, if you're, you're thinking about a smaller school, a school that has um, a faith-based education, um, which is also a big part of BA, I mean, come check us out. We'd be great to, we'd love to have you down, have a look. Yeah, that was going to be my next question, so I might as well go to it. Will, do you like the fact that it's a Christian school? 
Yes, I'm, I'm Catholic, so I love getting to go to Mass every Friday or once a week and then also having a religion course to explore my faith, faith. yeah. Do you examine other faiths too? Yes, and yeah. The class we're taking right now is like... I mean, you learn about Muslims and yeah. other religions? Mm -hmm. Yep. How about you, Maggie? You like that aspect of the school? Um, yes, I like it a lot. And even people who aren't Catholic, um, I'm Lutheran, for example, we still, um, it's still a great place to, um, we do examine other faiths and learn about other faiths and just kind of um, learn about God. And We've sure come a long way since I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. My dad, I remember, was a very devoted Lutheran and used to tell us, the boys in the family had better never bring a Catholic girl home. <laughs> he changed oh, wow. over the years, but, but that's how it was when I was a kid. Chris wouldn't remember that. She's much younger than I am. Yep. <laughs> anyway, we've only got a couple minutes left in the show. If you had a piece of advice, if I was a kid, just pretend that I'm a kid. Okay. Well, convince <laughs> me, why should I come to BA? You should come to BA for the cookies. Yep. Yes. Just kidding. But, uh, yeah, um, it's a great education, and that might not be important to you now, but it will later on, so. All right. Yes. What do you think, Maggie? Um, I'm a kid. You got to tell me <laughs> why I should go to BA. Well, I think you should come to BA, really, if you're looking for a smaller school and more of like a family atmosphere. It really is at BA. Um, you get really close with everybody students and teachers, and you have a lot of um, opportunities, um, not only in academics, like Will said, but in clubs and sports, and it's just a really good school. What do you do in track, by the way? Um, I run long distance, so usually like the... Well, I suppose you're in cross-country. Yeah. <laughs> Duh, Gordy, what a dumb question that was. The mile to mile. Okay. I mean, I could see her being a shot putter or something, can't you, Will? <laughs> Looks like a strong young lady, <laughs> right? <Thank> you. <laughs> You ever tried that? Um, no, I have not. <laughs> it doesn't appeal to you, I take it. Um, not so much, no. <laughs> you like running long distances. Yes, I do. I knew there was something crazy about me. <laughs> 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 I've never seen people jogging, smiling when they're jogging. Um, you know what I'm probably saying? Probably not, no. <laughs> they don't look like they're having fun. But it's a lifelong activity yeah, it that really you can is. do. Yeah, you can do it throughout your whole life. Mm -hmm. So is cross country your favorite sport? Um... Yeah, cross country or basketball, probably. Mm -hmm. What do you play in basketball? Um, I am the point guard. Oh, yeah, you got to love being the point yeah. guard. You get to run the show. Yeah, pretty yeah. much, <laughs> I guess. So, again, the show at BA on Wednesday is from 5.30 until 7.30. Everybody's invited to stop out and have some delicious cookies. Yes. Sounds awesome. Next week, let's see, on Monday, what do I got on Monday? Paradise. That's right. It's the first Monday in November. You're in tune to KDHLAM, Parable, Minnesota. Tonight